The Merriam-Webster's dictionary defines progress as a forward or onward movement toward an objective or goal. The peer administration celebrated their onward advancements thus far with a walk of progress on August 25th. Facilitators of this event have indicated that the walk was an attempt to highlight often ignored positive improvements in the country. But how can we embrace an overall culture of progress in St. Lucia? Minister of Culture Dr. Ernest Tiller believes that political continuity is one way to help in this regard. You're talking about a, a broader understanding of culture in terms of more the political sociology of the country, in terms of how we re relate to political developments, because the, probably the biggest challenge we face lies within democracy itself. Um, the fact that governments can change every five years and governments with their own priorities, their own perspectives can every five years start all over again. And, and projects, sometimes ideas, never come to fruition because of that change that takes place every five years. So you almost, when you speak about um, creating a culture for progress, it's something that you have to start off with. People must understand that so many ideas, so many um, programs, projects cannot really deliver the results within a five-year span. And maybe you should give governments, unless you do really badly, um, a second term. Dr. Hilaire went on to denounce what he deems as toxicity plaguing local politics. He believes that striving towards national consensus is the only way we can move forward. The converse that governments understand that when you change, you don't have to fraud everything. You know, you, you, there are some things that you should keep because there has to be a national consensus. So then you ask me that you'll ask me the question: How do we get a national consensus? Uh, and and that's where um, a lot of the the, the toxic nature of our present day politics must diminish. We must both parties call on St. Lucians to diminish the toxic nature of the politics, the divisive nature of our politics right now. So there are certain broad developmental objectives that we can all agree on. By aligning efforts across political lines and emphasizing long-term planning, St. Lucia can create a more sustainable path forward. For Choice News Now, I am Quinn Tejis.